this has been floated time and time again. It was going to be Ascension Island. It was going to be maybe one of the Channel Islands. Rwanda, I know there's a Scandinavian country looking seriously at it. I think it's signed a, a memorandum of understanding. How serious a plan is it? Well, we don't know the, the, the level of seriousness of the plans. We haven't obviously seen the full plans and what stage they're at. Of course, this does come, as you say, at the end of a protracted period of trying to find an offshore um, uh, you know, kind of solution to this problem. Um, it, you know, it, it is clear that Rwanda is a destination that's um, being thought about by a number of countries, and it might in fact be a boom industry for Rwanda. But I think you know, it, it's right to say that you have to see the plans before you can comment properly as to how viable this actually is. Yeah, I mean, obviously, cost is going to be a principal objection, isn't it? To, to fly people out there, to then have the accommodation for them. I and mean, the accommodation is obviously going to be cheaper over time than in the UK. Mm. And the hope will be in government, presumably, if this is a goer, that actually it does have a deterrent effect. Um, people are going to look at the idea of, um, you know, if, if you are a confident asylum seeker, and put it that way, if you are confident your application will will be smiled on by the authorities and you are genuinely a victim of persecution, then you may think, OK, it's worth spending three months in a processing centre in Rwanda. If you're somebody who's really an economic migrant, then the idea of Rwanda for a few months loses its luster. Yes, I think that's, you know, kind of right. And, and the sort of reasoning behind trying to find an offshore location like this, the point is not to dissuade legitimate, um, uh, you know, asylum seekers from this, but to, you know, those people looking for a soft touch, easy way in approach, this would no doubt deter them from doing so. On the cost side, actually, I think, you know, we might end up being quids in were this to be a case. I wish things were processed in three months. They often delay a lot longer than that. And the cost of accommodation in the UK is, is exorbitant um, for uh, asylum seekers and migrants. So from that perspective, it might be a financial winner. But again, it all comes down to the detail and, of course, the conditions people be kept in. They have to obviously be kept in appropriate, safe conditions in Rwanda as well.